Welcome back to our traffic light project. In the last video, we made an object for a traffic light. And in this video, we're going to use the Ultra R Runner to test it out. So the first thing I did here was comment out the bulb code using a multi-line comment of slash asterisk at the beginning and asterisk slash at the end. So instead of creating a bulb, we're actually going to create a traffic light. So we'll say traffic light light is equal to new traffic light. And then we'll go ahead and we can do different things with that. For instance, we can say system dot out dot print ln and we'll print lights light dot get lights and then what we want to do is we want the light at position zero so we can just use bracket zero bracket and close the parentheses and close the semicolon and it looks like our error was because the method was get light so we can go back and check that by clicking on the traffic light class and here we have get light and here we have set light so let's change this here to get lights and now let's go back to our runner and we'll change this to get lights and we'll go ahead and save both of these and then we'll run it and you can see that it's saying that the red light is on okay some other things that we can do are if we want to get some of the other lights we can say system dot out dot print ln light get lights at one and system dot out dot print ln light dot get light at two and what doesn't it like here oh it's got a parentheses instead of a bracket so now if we run this we, we can see that the red light is on the yellow light is off and the green light is off one thing we can do here is we can change things using our setters. So we might say light dot set lights. And then we want to set the light at one dot Let's go back and look at what the method says. So we have set lights. And we can um, we can set them to true or false. we should be able to say light set lights at one and we can pass in true let's try doing it here be dot set bulb
let me see. We're having three bulbs. The new bulb is here. We have Okay, so if I want to change the bulb, I want to use the next date method. So we can say light dot next state. Light. What doesn't it like? It's undefined. Light next state. Traffic light light equals new traffic light. Am I spelling it wrong? Oh yeah, I have S A, that's why I can't see. Okay, so now I'm changing it, changing the next state of the light, and then I'm gonna reprint them out. And now you can see the red light is off and the yellow yellow light is off and the green light is on. So if I do it again, if I call it twice. then the yellow light is on. Do you see how it's changing it from one state to the next? And we can also um, then print use the two string to print out the status of the light. So we can say system, we might say system.out.println and if we have nothing inside it's going to print a blank line and we can also say light dot two string. And then we can run the runner. And so we have um, changed the states. So the yellow light is on, and now it says. Bulb one is red and the red light is on, bulb is off, bulb two is yellow and the yellow light is on, and bulb three is green and the green light is off. So that's it for our traffic light runner and in the next session we will start the graphics to draw the traffic light. See you next time.